The Eurofighter Typhoon multi-role fighter aircraft is considered the backbone of European defense and air power. Designed as an air superiority fighter aircraft, the Typhoon is planned to remain operational well into the 21st century. This video aims to explore the capabilities and attributes of this collaborative four-nation fighter aircraft. But before we get into exploring this aircraft, we're excited to share the winners of our recent giveaway. Three of our lucky subscribers have one brand new iPhone 15s, and seven others will be receiving exclusive Defense Central merchandise. Check the community post linked below to see if you're one of the lucky few who snagged a prize in our giveaway. If your name is there, shoot us an email at hellodefensecentral at gmail.com or follow the steps in the post. Big thanks to all participants and congratulations to our winners. Stay tuned for our next competition. Now, let's jump back into this week's Eurofighter Typhoon video. The aircraft's earliest stages of development trace back to 1983, with the launch of the future European Fighter Aircraft Program. This initiative brought together the United Kingdom, Germany, France, Italy, and Spain in a multinational collaboration. However, conflicts concerning design authority and operational criteria resulted in France withdrawing from the consortium to independently pursue the development of the Dassault Rafale. The first technology demonstration aircraft, known as the British Aerospace EAP, took its first flight in 1986. The concept showcased an innovative design featuring an unstable delta canard configuration, an active digital fly-by-wire control system, a cockpit with HOTAS controls, and sophisticated avionics, including direct voice command input. Following this milestone, the first Eurofighter prototype had its maiden flight in 1994. The aircraft was named the Typhoon in 1998, coinciding with the initiation of the first production contracts in that same year. The Eurofighter Typhoon officially entered service in 2003. Now, let's take a look at some of its specifications. The Eurofighter Typhoon's design combines materials like carbon fiber composites, glass-reinforced plastic, titanium, and aluminum casting, among others. Key features include stealth technology, such as a minimized frontal radar cross-section, passive sensors, and the capability for supercruise. Its intentionally unstable four-plane delta configuration maximizes agility, minimizes drag, and increases lift, especially at supersonic speeds. Piloting is facilitated by a computerized digital fly-by-wire system, ensuring stable and controlled flight characteristics across diverse conditions. The Eurofighter Typhoon is powered by two Eurojet EJ200 engines, each capable of delivering up to 90 kN thrust, boasting a maximum speed of 2,125 km per hour, or Mach 2.0, and a combat radius of approximately 1,390 km. Featuring digital control and advanced components like wide cord aerofoils and single crystal turbine blades, these engines also include an integrated health monitoring system. The Eurofighter Typhoon's cockpit boasts a voice throttle and stick system with 24 fingertip controls for managing sensors, weapons, and in-flight handling. Pilots can use direct voice input for mode selection and data entry. Equipped with a quadruplex fly-by-wire flight control system, it includes an automatic low-speed recovery system for warning and control at low speeds. Additionally, the Typhoon features a BAE Systems helmet-mounted platform, a head-up display for flight data and weapon targeting, three multifunction color head-down displays, showing tactical information and digital maps. The Eurofighter Typhoon houses an internally mounted Mauser BK 27mm gun, utilizing a revolver gun system. With 13 hard points for weapon attachment, four under each wing and five under the fuselage, the aircraft features an armament control system for weapon selection, firing, and monitoring. 
Initially designed with dogfighting capabilities in mind, the Typhoon has evolved to also excel in air-to-surface strike missions, with a diverse range of armaments, including air-to-surface guided bombs. It is also capable of carrying a mix of missiles like Storm Shadow, Brimstone, and Mardi R, tailored to its specific operational role. Assessing aircraft performance is a challenging task. But in 2005, the U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General John P. Jumper was the sole individual to have piloted both the Eurofighter Typhoon and the F-22 Raptor. He stated that the two aircraft are essentially very different from one another, comparing them to a NASCAR car with a Formula One car. While acknowledging the Eurofighter's impressive agility, controls, and maneuverability in close in combat, he noted that some of the Raptor's additional capabilities are tailored for the unique missions of the U.S. Air Force. The Eurofighter Typhoon is currently in active service with nine air forces, including Germany, the UK, Italy, Spain, Austria, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Qatar. However, despite the strong push for buying European, the influence of the American F-35 continues to grow across the European continent. To ensure the Typhoon remains competitive until the two European sixth-generation aircraft programs reach production, the program partners have been upgrading onboard systems for retrofit. In 2022, the original Eurofighter partner nations proposed upgrading some Tranche 3 aircraft in their combined inventories and, in the case of Germany and Spain, acquiring a new batch of aircraft, Tranche 4. These new Tranche 4 aircraft will notably feature an advanced active electronic scanning array radar system, known as the E-Scan Common Radar System. Whether the Tranche 4 variant will increase interest in Europe or abroad remains to be seen. But what do you think about the Eurofighter Typhoon? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.